Enterprise Zimbabwe, business and everything you want to know on ZFM Stereo. Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for joining us. This is ZFM Stereo, my station, your station, and this program is called Enterprise Zimbabwe. My name is Super Mandiwanzira, and we come to you every Monday between 7.15 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Uh, the idea here on Enterprise Zimbabwe is to inspire Zimbabweans and anyone else who's listening in that uh, we should be in business. We should start businesses and we should prosper in businesses. And in any case, we look at most successful countries, the drivers to employment are small to medium scale enterprises. So this show is about promoting small and medium scale enterprises. And joining me now on the program tonight, Jerry Monia Zungu, the chartered vendor, is right here again in the studio. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, last week we were speaking about why it is so difficult for our people, and when I say our people, I mean black people, yeah. to accept that another black person can be successful without being corrupt. Yeah. Uh, without being politically uh, 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 being a front, yeah. <laughs> uh, without being anything else other than their own effort. Exactly. We don't seem to accept that Jerry Monia Zungu, Dakafundanae. Exactly. Wakakura was not gonna boot so Wakafukura was tambora, but he can't be on TV doing what he's doing. And is okay. And is okay. Have you found any answers after we spoke last week? Uh, what are people? What have been people saying? Yeah, people are saying a lot. I think people are commenting even on Twitter, on on social media to say that's the, that's the truth. You are not supported by your own. Uh, even if you look at um, like even your family, sometimes they don't give you that enough support. Even your best friends, you find out that those are the. I think people have actually said most of the enemies they come from within. So I think maybe it's our culture. We don't know, but that's what they were saying. They're saying it's our culture. They're saying it's our the way we were brought up. They, they, there's a different people arguing. Some were saying, ah, but people are not making it. Uh, people are. <laughs> so it was a mixed, it was a mixed bag. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. No, no, I think I think it's very interesting. But there are many communities that support each other religiously. Exactly. Uh, you mentioned last week that uh, you know the communities that say money must circulate within that community. Exactly. When it eventually leaves that community to empower the three, four, five people. Five people, yeah. 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 I think I also someone also sent me a joke. Uh, it was, uh, I think, it's uh, the, the doctor from the Arab from Arabic after listening to our show. Right. He sent me a joke which was actually saying uh, prostitution money. It's a prostitute money. I mm -hmm. mean, mm -hmm. so I was saying like uh, uh, the money was first given to the hotel uh, owner. Mm -hmm. Then the hotel owner paid the bill. He was owing uh, a vendor who was selling tomatoes. Then the money circulated in that community until it go back to the a prostitute wait or wait also give that money back to what to the hotel owner so in other words they were just saying the money circulated in about eight nine hands before it goes back now to the owner of the hotel so the question was who benefited from the money because it circulated within the same community everybody until benefited. it got back to the person who <laughs> first paid yeah so that's what you are saying the moral of the story is not about prostitution it's about actually saying money should circulate in our small economy, small economy or small community, like right now, which is happening in econ in our economy, whereby we are importing, uh, maybe at one point even importing water, we're importing toothpicks. Mm -hmm. We're saying, how can we actually give someone who's manufacturing toothpicks in Zimbabwe? How can we support our local companies? So if you support our local companies, it means money is never going to exit Zimbabwe. Yeah. It's going to remain here. Munyaradzi Wangwere is going to like you. He's going to love you. Munyaradzi Wangwere has been pushing the buy Zimbabwe agenda. Exactly. But of course, the government has bought into it. Exactly. But let's spend money on our own companies, on, on our own products, before we can think of uh, importing those products. I just noticed one thing. This morning, I had a meeting with a group of uh, people Chinese people mm. who are looking for assets, you know, chrome mines. Mm. They want to mine chrome. They want to sell to a Chinese company that is operating here. Mm. So you can tell that the Chinese are empowering each other around investments they're doing in this country. They're not looking for Jerry to go and supply them with chrome. Mm -hmm. They're looking for Jerry, if you have a 
Chrome concession, mm -hmm. give it to a Chinese, he will mine, he will supply the next Chinese company. Exactly. Shouldn't we be learning from that to say, let's support each other? Yes, I think that's that's the moral of the story. Even if you look at your community in, in Indians, that's what also they do. Chinese, they'll support a Chinese first before they support someone else. Even if you look at um, their lodges, they've got, they're now Chinese-owned lodges. Mm -hmm. Everyone is coming from China, they'll look for a Chinese lodge first. They're not going to they, stay in your hotel? No. In your lodge that you have, you have your house you have converted into a lodge. They're supporting. They're their supporting own. their own. So they're not doing it uh, whilst they are in their country only, but they are also going to the foreign land and start supporting other Chinese. But in Zimbabwe, if they go to South Africa, they will not go to. Uh they will not go to Airbnb run by another Zimbabwe. They, ah. they will look for another. They will be actually enemies. The person <laughs> who actually arrange. Uh, uh, a xenophobic arrangement to you is as a fellow, the fellow Zimbabwean who say, No, this guy is a Zimbabwean. I think, even I, most of the people have actually said, When you get to Park Station, uh, the first person I went to Birwe, Mu Zimbabwean, but I will, but I Zimbabwean. So, I think we need to change that. It's about, it's about supporting each other, it's about knowing that if I invest, if I buy from a fellow Zimbabwean. If I buy, I think we've got a lot of international brands which are also in Zimbabwe. Absolutely. Before we support that international brand, don't we have our own brand? Which yeah, we buy can Sportless. Support? Don't exactly. go and buy uh, that one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> buy Sportless but, yeah, first. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, so we, we, we support our own. Exactly. The money circulates in our economy. When the Sportless owner wants to really enjoy his money, they build a big house in Zim. They employ Zimbabweans to build mm. that house. They employ more maids in that house. So money is staying in money our country. Money is staying in our country. We, we have a lot to learn and we're going to be talking about this a lot of the times on this day. I know last week we wanted to touch on something, but this was very topical. Mm, that's right. Um, but one of the key issues we wanted to talk about is the sustainability of businesses that we start, small to medium scale enterprises. Mm. We've seen many examples of businesses that were started by very uh, uh, enterprising black women, black men. Mm. But when the founders die, the businesses die. Mm. How can small and medium scale enterprises avoid this situation? Uh, thank you so much. I think as the founder or as the owner of the business, they must also learn to quit. Yes, entrepreneurship is about perseverance. It's about working hard. Then you, but I'm saying you should quit other things. You cannot do everything by yourself. Like what I noticed is even in the bus industry, I think we had a lot of famous buses. That's, you mean transport industry, right? Transport yeah. industry. Like uh, we had a lot of buses which have famous bus companies. Bus operators, yes. Yeah, yeah, but... but but those BNC, they are exactly an BNC, an Amatongo, an Atiwovu. But this is this is shine, shoe shine. Uh, we can no longer see those uh, those those ones operating. Now it was because age. yeah, it was because maybe the owner was the one who actually knows where you can find the, the papers. He is the one who knows how to do the accounting. He's also the one who knows how to do the marketing. So everything was uh, it was like the expertise of the business. So when he dies now. But it's all about that. It's about yet all the knowledge. That's why this business can no longer run. Some of the business, to such an extent that the owner of the business will be the only one who knows uh, your your company password, bank passwords. Is the only one who actually knows the the bank accounts of the company. So when he dies, even the wife doesn't know how many bank accounts does the company have. They don't even know how many vehicles does the company have. You don't even have access to the SAF. Okay, we're going to talk about <laughs> how to avoid that situation. We have to take a break. This is Enterprise Zimbabwe. We are live on ZFM Stereo. My station, your yes, station. Yes. My name is Superman Diwanzi and my guest is Jerry Monya Zungu. We're back in a moment. Feel it. Love it. Live it. A decade of Z. My stick. Radio for life. Welcome back to the program. This is Enterprise Zimbabwe. We're talking about what small and medium scale or medium enterprises should do to avoid the businesses going under, falling yeah. apart yeah. because the founder is no more. It's no more. What should they do? The first thing is you're supposed to build systems, not to rely on people. If you notice big businesses, it's not about I want to buy in this certain shop because there is a certain individual working there. It's about I'm now following a system. 
I think even in the fast food industry, I won't mention names. Maybe they'll say I'll favor this company, but I think kids, uh, they can actually say... But, but, but it's good to give an example yeah. because, I mean, we're talking yeah. to people who must understand what exactly. we're talking about. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's just an example. But it's okay. No, if you advertise them, that's okay. We'll send you an invoice. There's no problem, you know. <laughs> I'll give an example for yeah. chicken in. I right. think kids, they actually say, I want chicken in. Because it's a brand which can even... The kids now need chicken in. It's not about... Right. But uh, with our small businesses now is about can a mining I won't buy from I, there's no there's no way I can buy from this person. So they've managed to actually create a brand. If you're going to see their system, if you ever notice their system, chicken in in Arare is going to save you as the same as chicken in Vic Falls, chicken in Mtare, chicken mm-hmm. in Nyanga. Mm-hmm. Because why? They've a system which is running, younger, but it's okay. <laughs> There's a system which is running, uh-huh. they are running through a system, not through depending on people. That's why, if they can fire someone today, the system can easily be maintained because it's now a system which is running the business. So, let, 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 me, let me give you a practical example. Mm. I know many people, and then the you know, go to my George, the papi, my George, the George, the papi, my George, the papi, my George, the brand, exactly. Good guy, you know, go to my mama, what's up, my Merrick, you know, in the pastole, my George, Saka, my George, so on or water, joy to say, good my George, but I'm going to want a revenue that you are going to want a best on her name. Thank you so much. Like, my George should now delegate. To say, no, I now have a team. You know, go go to Nyama, go to and I eat. So that now the brand is now my George. But people must know that you know, go to Nkoma Simba, but you go to Nyama, you know, go to Nkoma Simba, but you go to Nkoma Simba, my George. And the Chango test, I'm going to go to Nkoma Simba, my George. Saka, pa muru kutipa ma system hapa. Muru kutipa my George, wanji fana uchi zizisa wuyu kuti. Kanadango kanda steak pa moto, you know, for the five minutes, uchotu wa itendi rezi. Exactly, exactly. That's what is now needed. That's the same example I was giving with what chicken in to say good. Ah, I was so worried with chicken in or boy, which big chicken. I swagger this is our no good. No, if you are doing this, you're supposed to do this. If you are saving your clients, it's supposed to be 15 minutes. Saka muta uti vai driver ma baza na matamba na zo ndi na matamba na zo. Maybe when you are starting, some most of the first of business when you are starting, you start by your and maybe the hotel per steering but later on you delegate to other people but when you've delegated to other people yes they've delegated in terms of driving but as you know the business are uh, the, the like uh, the transport business it's not run because the bus is moving it's what is happening in the administration side mm-hmm. so most of our local business they don't delegate the administration side i've noticed a big ceo a big company he can authorize ten dollars for fuel because he wants to be in control of every cent which is in the organization but you can still put systems put an accountant put internal controls and making sure that your money is safe without a ceo someone waiting for the ceo to sign a ten dollar voucher for fuel mm-hmm. so the administration side now that's where the major problem is operations people can delegate but in terms of admin especially money our black owned business they don't want to delegate money because they want an experience they could be t- no yes i think an experience they could be saka give him advice on the show right yeah now. oh it has say uh um tie or no i'm fine you could see you per authorization if you are ten dollars i want my time on the paper yeah but what you will calculate are you but my authorization has to go right to 20 per zua it's 200 you're going to feel but about the motor one and the you open up town you zone yeah, it's about it's an, it's not about Christmas uh, controls. Mm-hmm. Just uh, a policy. Can I auto the cheaper moon of fuel ye week tonight I say? I know poor man there. I know refill a cone safe station one ere. I know it uh we sometimes one sign one 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 gani was siri ye. One or two and check on or one three one or sign a siri ye. Which means these guys when the owner agafa, one was what to fuel to number two sign in an attack. Manja owner agafa. When ah, yato jamba. Yato jamba. <laughs> no one can authorize ten dollars for fuel. Okay, People at are... what stage? <laughs> Somebody started their own business and been running it for a year. Yeah. You know, as you go that zariga. Yeah. And it's a system at what stage after somebody started a business should they say, I now want to put systems? Yeah, when you can start a business, sometimes you are doing everything. You're the marketer, you're the accountant, you're the security guard and the receptionist. Mm-hmm. But immediately when you appoint a receptionist, give that receptionist the full responsibility of the reception. When you give, uh, uh, you employ an accountant, give an accountant the full authority of running the accounts. 
But most of the accountants in these companies, Wangoro Maklek, Agamira, accountant who is the owner of the business. So we're saying, if you hire talent, I think Steve Jobs actually said, don't hire talent and tell the talent what to do. Mm-hmm. So if you hire talent, give the talent is now guiding you. Say, tell them vouchers. Say, tell them requisition. Go accounts. Then you are now putting that in place and make sure that your money is safe. Okay, let's yeah. make sure that our money is safe. Let's put systems. That is it on Enterprise Zimbabwe tonight. My guest, Jeremy Onyazungu, the chartered vendor. Uh, if people want to get in touch with you, how do they do that? They can contact me on 0719-382-136. 0719-382-136. Or on my social media platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, Jeremy Onyazungu. That was about 30 seconds. Yeah. We are sending an invoice. 30 <laughs> seconds. He's been talking about himself. Jerry Monyazungu, thank you very thank much you for so coming much. to Enterprise. Welcome, mate, mate. Thanks, everybody, for listening. My name is Superman Duanzira. Uh, we're back again. Same time, same channel. This ZFM Stereo, my station, your station. We're out of here. Enterprise Zimbabwe. Business and everything you want to know on ZFM Stereo.